Alright, what's up guys? So, we've got these Walmart batteries and we just kind of started to use them a few days ago. And I moved them around and I noticed, well, that one's not green anymore. And that one is. And we had them on this charge controller here, which has like six panels on it. They're two series, three parallel. And um, I don't know what the heck the deal is here. I've discharged these batteries maybe uh, two or three times. I don't know. Not much. And um, I haven't really used them much. Just kind of had them on float. So um, I've measured the cells. And I will um, I'll put the camera over here so you can, you can see this. But they're exactly the same. And, um, so we get, uh, this is the bad battery. 13.37 volts. Okay. We get this one here. 13.37 volts. So they're, they're balanced. So well, this little red, starting to turn red, means that the green ball is not floating. So that's, uh, measuring the specific gravity. So the only thing that I can think of and come up with here is that um, the battery has boiled or cooked off some of the fluid and um, or it's sulfating and something has done something to affect the specific gravity even though they're both holding the same charge. So they were being charged at 24 volts. Um, I believe the full voltage was 27.6, and then, um, let me look real quick here, the, uh, so the parameters are, you can use sealed, gel, or flooded, and I had it on flooded, and, um, let's see if we get into the specifics to tell you exactly what it is, so, uh, flooded, um, the specs you just take times two so the over voltage disconnect for flooded would be 32 volts the charging limit voltage would be 30 volts over voltage reconnect 30 volts equalizing charge voltage is 14.8 so 28 29 6 seems kind of high boost charge voltage 14.6 so the boost charge voltage would be 29.2 which is sort of high I think float charge voltage 13.8 and then you would have uh, 27 6 that's normal so all these other things a low voltage disconnect um, discharge so I, I don't understand what in here would cause this problem unless it was, you know, going into the uh, um, 30 volt range, you know, cranking 15 volts into the, each battery. So the boost charge voltage does kind of concern me. It's sort of high, but um, yeah, I don't know. So it seems that maybe there might be an issue with these, and I actually just tried this in conjunction with an all-in-one to boost up my lithium battery and I, I changed the settings to, to lithium and I ran into an over voltage problem on the lithium one Let's see. I can show you guys that also if you're curious so you have four cell lithium and you have eight and so I'm using eight so their over voltage disconnect is supposed to be 29.6 but it didn't do that it went up really high uh, charging voltage limit 29.2 um, float 27.6 boost charge voltage 29 so all these numbers look fine but like I said I've seen for sure with the lithium battery I saw it do something differently so I've also noticed with these Walmart batteries they will turn red it's always one not both and you'll move them around and then you'll you'll Go load them up in the car and take them to Walmart, and by the time you get there, the thing will be green. But usually, even if it is green, they'll still test it, and it will fail on their tester. And I don't know exactly what testers they're using, so I don't know if it's a false 
but the fact that the thing's not floating lets me know the specific gravity is not okay. And why is it not okay? I don't know. These batteries have not been used for more than 30 days. Um, they haven't even probably been hooked up for even two weeks and there's already this issue. So, um, and I've had other batteries <laughs> that were brand new that had problems and the common denominator is that I've always used an EP ever charge controller. So, I've also used the MPP Solar, but I don't believe that this group of batteries has ever been hooked up to the MPP Solar. It was hooked up over here to, there's my lithium, uh, it was hooked up over here to the uh, PAL MR. 3k 24 volt guy the older version which just has a 40 amp charge controller in it so <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if it's uh, an issue or a flaw in these unfortunately I have a few of them now my regular experimental battery bank here is just a bunch of used lead acid batteries so that's okay if something happens to those but these are now $89 a battery, and this is the third or fourth set that I've had, and um, you can only warranty them so many times. And the last time I went to Walmart, I was in the store for over an hour warrantying these things, and I don't want to do that again. And originally, I brought them home, and they had sat for at least a month before I did anything with them. And... I decided I wasn't going to use them. I was actually just going to see if I could sell them because I couldn't get my money back for them. But um, I, I don't know what the hell to do with them anymore. So I guess charge them up and um, put them on a battery tender and forget about them. I don't know. Um... Heck, if they were regular batteries, I would have put them in my truck because I needed batteries. And so maybe they're fine on a 12-volt system. I don't know. Maybe one of the batteries is just, you know, being overcharged. Um, but the fact that they're both at the same resting voltage right now really concerns me. Uh, why one would, you know, show that that's almost red. Let's just test it again. We're at 13.36. This one's going to read backwards because I'm lazy. By 13.36. They went down a little bit, but they're staying exactly the same with each other. So, um, if you have any ideas or uh, comments, uh, let me know down below. Catch you later on the next video.